Hello and welcome to this uh, first of several video demonstrations on how to use Perl for uh, scripting primarily towards uh, Linux and system administration tasks. Um, me who's talking is Joachim Kjevrestad from the University of Skövde and I will be with you through a bunch of video demonstrations on Perl and then we'll do some PowerShells uh, on PowerShell as well that will appear in in its own playlist here. So to begin today uh, I just want to introduce you to the scripting language Perl and uh, some uh, variables and arrays how they are how they look and how they're used in Perl. So to begin and uh, I've created a very short Perl script and I want to go through it from top to bottom and um, First off, you have uh, a shebang followed by a uh, user bin Perl, and this line basically tells the system where to find uh, uh, where to find the lang the interpreter for for uh, to use for this file. Uh, next line is a comment, and the comments are very useful. So I just want to show you how to add the comments, and you usually do a uh, hashtag sa uh, sign and then write whatever you want. And you can put it on, on line of its own or you can put it like this behind some text. Uh, I'm using you know, gedit by the way and when I save files as Perl files with the extension .pl I get some nice uh, nice coloring um, and markup. Uh, then I use uh, have use warnings and use strict and what those do is basically they, uh, they output uh, a little bit better uh, errors when when something is wrong or when I do something in a suboptimal way, and they also force me to declare my variables in in the way that variables should be should be declared. So that's basically it. Those are some meta code that you should add uh, in in the beginning of every script you write, and then we go on to the variables. Uh, so there is basically three types of uh, ways to uh, declare variables in in Perl or three three types of variables where we have the uh, the usual variables that hold one value like an integer or a string or a bool or whatever it is. Uh, then we have the arrays and an array, as you know, is a list of different values. And then we have hash tables, which we'll get into uh, in a later demonstration. So to to declare a variable, you basically type as I've done here my and then a dollar sign followed by the variable name equals and the value you want your variable to have. If you want to declare an empty var variable, you can do that as well. Uh, you just do my uh, variable and then you have the semicolon. Uh, the semicolon is very important in Perl. It should be at the end of every line. So yes, so you know that. A very common way to uh, get, uh, get interpretation errors uh, is to uh, forget the semicolon. So make sure you have a semicolon at the end of every line. Uh, so uh, as you see here, I've first declared a variable called integer and then I declared one called string and to the integer I added a number because an integer holds number and to the string I added text because strings hold text. Uh, as you see, um, I haven't really declared the variable type. I don't have to do that in Perl. So uh, if I just declare them and input some value to them, the in Perl interpreter will decide the, the variable type on its own. And next we have the arrays, which is a list, and those are declared with my again and then at sign followed by the array name, so in this case at array, uh, equals and then the listing. And if you want to add values to the array uh, as you declare it, you put the values you want to add within parentheses like this, and then every index is... Uh, should be written within double quotes followed by a comma. So in this case, this will be the first index, this will be the second index, this will be the third index. And as you know with arrays, the index numbering starts with zero, so the first index will be named index zero, the second index will be uh, named index one, and the third index will be named index two, and so on and so forth. Um, so finally, if you want to print the different, um, the different variables, you just go ahead and do the print statement, which is for printing something. Then you put whatever you want to print within double quotes, as you see here. Uh, and in the first case, what we just print is integer is and dollar sign integer. So we want to uh, print whatever is in our variable, which should be one. And then I have this backslash n at the end of the print statement. And that is just new line. Uh, so I'm going to show you how this looks. Um, 
let's just look at the top one right, right now. Um, the script is called introverse array. So what I do when I want to run it is that I go to a command prompt and then I go Perl. Uh, followed by the script name. That's it. And just hit enter. Uh, and as you can see here in the output, we get integer is 1. Uh, I just want to show you what happens if we remove this uh, new line and, uh, and save and run the script again. Then you will see that we will have integer is 1 and then immediately we will have string is string which is the second print statement here, string is string. Uh, so the new line is sort of there for uh, to make it print a little bit prettier and more readable. Uh, so I think that we covered the strings. So I'm just going to comment those out by putting a, uh, a hash sign in front of them for now and then we're going to look for at prints for the array. So we can either print a full array, which I would do in, in the last statement here, full array, and then we just go with an at sign and the array name. So in this case, full array um, and an at array. That's what we want to print. Uh, but we can also print a specific element in the array. And if we want to do that, we have to type the uh, reference the array name or the array index as a variable because that is what an array is. It's a listing uh, or a selection of variables basically. So if we go dollar array and uh, then that means that we're going to reference an index in the array and then we have to type uh, the index number within those brackets. Um, so if I want to reference the first element in the array which is index number null, uh, zero, I go dollar array and zero. So let's see if this works. This line should print the first element in the array, which is which contains index zero, and then this second line here should print the full array. So let's see. Um, if we run the script, then we see first element in uh, array is index zero, and the full array is index zero, index one, index two. And if I just for clarity change this, so I want to ch to print the last element in the array instead, which is the third element, which should be called 0, 1, 2, uh, then this print statement should now output index 2 instead, uh, and it does. Uh, so that is basically what I wanted to show you, but while we're here I might as well show you the most famous error code that you get if you miss a semicolon, so I'm removing the semicolon from the second, uh, second last line, hitting save, and then we're going to run the script again. And then you see that we get a syntax error at uh, the script name line 21 near print. Uh, and it's basically a ambiguous error message that we get here. But if we look at line 21, you can go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Oh, I have line counter down here. Uh, so it's 21, and it's in front of this uh, the sec next line following the error. But what we can see here is that semicolon is missing which wasn't a big surprise since we just removed it, save, and the script will work nice again. Um, so that's basically it for this short first demonstration. What we looked at is how to declare variables and how to print them. A very short introduction. We should end this by just removing everything and do the first program that you should ever do whenever working with a new program, which is Hello World. And it's very simple. You just, you just go print, double quotes, hello world don't forget the semicolon run the script hello world and that makes us uh, that gets us going with Perl I'll see you next time where we're going to work with some inputs and uh, selections